Thank you for joining us on my catalog today we're gonna be checking out ren the tale of jenny and screech the official music video this has all the three parts it's been requested in the comment section a lot i know you've been waiting for this for a long time here it is, here it is. like a lot a lot so here we go let's get into it hold on this is a three-parter yeah you know my man's it's, over it's, here it's all, man. it's like, all in it's, one so it's, it's Jenny's tail, it's Screech's tail, and then Violet's tail. Okay. So it's it's three different parts. Only one he, song. These originally came out in three separate parts. Okay. So these were three separate parts, and then he just put it all in one video. So we're about to just watch them all together. Yeah. But one oh, story. You, you guys can't see it, but look how raw his guitar is. You got like a little cut over here. No, I can see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can see it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, he really plays that. He doesn't just keep it for show. You know what I mean? Nah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he's, he's the real deal. Yeah, yeah. He's the Ed Sheeran with the guitar, man. He he really plays that guitar. Quiet dark night in the empty street Somewhere at London City Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well on the very same night in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking gang with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul as Jenny walked home all alone, she felt scared. Usually she was alright, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware. Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it. Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheep that the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nanta City Jenny lay still on the cold concrete she's found somewhere to sleep well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame Damn, he's good, yo Yeah, he's too oh. good We're way the too story, good man. Yo, his storytelling is stupid good, yo and like what makes it incredible really is like his guitar yeah, his, his guitar and yeah. his content and just his lyrical like ability you know what i mean like he just paints such 
like vivid pictures is amazing yo it's amazing it's like a musical every single time he doesn't yeah. need much neither he's so simple like he's just on his guitar just killing the whole thing and even when he takes breaks and he's like just breathing it's still mm -hmm. part of the story you know what i mean the frustration in the story you know what i mean like it's crazy yo no yeah he he kills it because like even like what we were talking about with the guitar like even with his flow switches up like it goes perfectly with how he's playing the guitar that's how you know that he's so in tune with like him playing the guitar but even when he switches up and goes faster he switches his flow the same way and it's it's amazing like how much he's able to keep switching his flow and then the story still makes sense and you're still able to follow along exactly what he's saying like even the parts where he's like doing the different dialogues right when he's jumping back and forth from different type different people right and then looking at the perspective of uh jenny and then jumping back into screech right and then like it's like even when he was screaming and telling her like don't look at me and you'll soon be free i want your purse your phone don't fucking look at me i mean it bitch are you listening to me Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite. Feel like liquid nitrogen in the dark night. I'll cut the, the roses off your cheek. I hear it. What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God, don't slice the rosy off your cheeks. You think I don't mean it, girl? The one line is, man, like, is the dude's just so fire, man. He's so fire with the storytelling. His ability to just jump back and forth between things is, is awesome, man. He's, he's, you know he kills it. You know it's crazy for a musician uh, from the UK? I'm like, I'm kind of glad that I can understand for his style, because I watch like a lot of UK battle raps and yeah. a lot of them just, I can't. Some of them I just can't, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't even get like- Yeah, they use a lot of slangs, that's why, you know? Yeah, they use a lot of slangs, but um, it's, it's not the slangs, it's like even like the, the bars. The bars, I can't mean like, I can't process it. I can't, because they rap, you know, they're rapping so fast. They're, and he's speaking fast, as fast as they are. And I can understand every word <laughs> I can follow the story. Some of them, not all the battle rappers in UK, but some of them had that deep, deep British accent. And it's like, I can't, I don't understand it at all. Yeah. And then the whole crowd's going wild. I'm like, damn, what the fuck did I miss, man? What did he say? I don't understand what he said. Is but he this dude speaking is English or yeah, is he yeah, speaking right? too yeah. English? <laughs> no, yeah, he pronounces very well, right? And it's easy, like, it's easy to pick up what he's saying. Yeah. Even when he's rapping faster, yeah, he, he's practiced this for sure. His flow switches is like, he got so many different flows. And when those yeah. flows kick in, like, it makes you, like, bob your head. And it feels like there's, like, drums behind it and everything. I don't know, man. The flows are so, like, different from each other within the song. You know That's what I mean? That's how he plays the guitar, I think. Yes, you know yeah, what right? I mean? That's so, what I'm saying, like, yeah, yeah. It's yo, integrated in there, yeah. some flows and, like, the lyrics are so on point with it, too. Like, they just, like, man, he's just so on point, yo. That's what he is, you know? Yeah, he makes a, yeah. he makes me want to play the guitar, man. He makes the guitar look hella cool. Yo, the coolest shit on the planet. The coolest motherfuckers on the planet. Shit. I used to think, like, you, you figure out the piano, you can make all types of beats, you know? I'm saying, yeah. like, I'm rethinking that, yo. I think all <laughs> guitar, you know? Man and the guitar, you can do it all, yo. Yeah, he's beast on that guitar, bro. That guitar is fire. Yeah, and, it, you know... It. A lot of his singing reminds me, like, because, you know, I've been listening to the songs that we already listened to. So, like, the, the first of the money game, like, mm -hmm. his singing reminds me of Bob Marley. That's what it mm -hmm. is. I'm telling you, if you go back to it, like, yo, he murders it just like him, too. Like, that's what's crazy about it. Because you know how Bob Marley had this distinctive sound, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he just captures you, you know what I'm saying? And he has a similar when he's singing in that song, you know what I mean? I just I think it's the pain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because Bob Marley had that, that pain in his voice. Like, mm -hmm. when, when, when you hear him sing, it's like he's singing about, like, the pain of, like, how he grew up, right? And it's like, you feel, even though he's singing, like, a positive message, it's a, very painful in his voice. Like, when you yeah. hear him. I feel like it's the same way, like, even when he does, like, the beginning parts of this, like, when Ren does it, like, when he does the... <laughs> like, all that in the beginning, with him yeah. doing the high pitching, it's very, like, it gets you in that mood. Like, he, it's like he's setting the stage for you almost, right? When he doesn't even have words yet. He's not even saying any of the words, but he puts the melody in there, and he gets you kind of into, like, this mood of, like, where he's going to go, right? And it almost gets you in there. It sounds so raw too, you know what I mean? Yeah. The buildup is so raw and it's like, you know, it's so nice, yo. It's, it's so creative, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's yeah. so unique. I love it. Yeah, I'm excited for you guys to see the next two parts because poof.
It gets crazy. Yeah. The story gets crazy. Yo, it always goes crazy with him, bro. It's only yeah. a matter, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just, yo uh, yeah me too man that that was dope that that whole like session was incredible yeah it remind right. me of an opening of like a uh, quentin Tino movie or a guy Ritchie movie mm, mm, yeah. you know what i mean i, I like that it's a, i definitely dope. see that yeah waiting for the gunshots right because you know yeah, Man, let me in, please open the door I think I fucked up Patrick, really fucked up man I'm not sure, I got crazy Left this lady lying still on the floor I think I killed her Patrick, come on man I can't knock no more But Screech kept on knocking Till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 No refuge for our villain For the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind That does away <laughs> Yeah. Hey babe, are you in? No, nah, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights Come on then you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets and they call me fucking Screech Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed with no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. Oh, get out of here. It's too nice. Ah, oh, story, it ends right to the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny Lying one street apart An officer shaken By the boy that he claimed Two bodies lay lifeless And it's such a shame It's such a shame
Damn, yo. <laughs> his performance is just as great as his, like, lyrical scheme. It's just as right. great as his storytelling. It's just as great as he is on that guitar. The different... I mean, like, damn, yo. Like, the, the, the story he paints is just so vivid. Like, I don't know. Like, I've never... I've never witnessed nothing like this, y'all. He's like way too nice, y'all. And I don't know how he comes up with all these different ideas. You know what I mean? Right. It's just, just this, like this seemed like an episode of Peaky Blinders right here. This this second part. Especially when he had a chance to like run, but then he's like, nah, I'm not even gonna run from the cops. I own the streets, right? You own these streets! These are my fucking streets! And they call me fucking Scratch! Yeah. So he he just stood up and like he went out like a gangster, right? Like he literally tried to fight the cops and they just shot him. Shot him to death, right? Oh, you like, know, like that's some Peaky Blinders stuff right there, <laughs> especially with you, the knife. <laughs> you know, like when it when it was doing that part, I was just looking around the neighborhood he was at, and I was just wondering, like, you know, are they gonna call the cops on him for screaming mm. out there like that? He was all by himself. First of all, the painting on the walls was incredible, like on the streets out there. I don't the know graffiti. If, what's, yeah, the graffiti. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what city that's in, but yo, bro, you can't be out there yelling like that, yo. You know what I mean? I'm sure. I'm sure he got permits and stuff, though. I'm sure yeah, they knew that he was doing it. Stuff, he yeah. probably did a couple takes and probably warned people, like, "Hey, I'm gonna be doing some crazy stuff out here. Don't yeah. try to shoot me or do anything." That was so yeah. dope, though, man. He killed it too. He used the guitar as the little as the gun. He fired four bullets at Screech's chest. Oh, get out of here! It's too nice. Oh, yeah. Took the five, oh, four Mark. shots to the chest. Yo, he actually did it. And then the way the camera came, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, man, whoever is on his team, whoever has like hands on the stuff that he does, it's amazing, yo. Like, you guys are like, like phenomenal, you know, next level phenomenal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's amazing, yo. It's, it's, I, I mean, it's astonishing, honestly. Talk about using what you have, right? Like, it's like this guy doesn't seem like he has a whole lot, but he's making the most out of it, right? Just the, the fact of he's using the visuals of like him, like actually getting shot down, going down to the ground, like all that, using the guitar as a gun, like him using his voice, changing him in between, the acting, literally putting his hands up saying, I run the street, like just all that, like in an alleyway is crazy. Phenomenal, just phenomenal. Yeah just like man it's, it's a musical you know and it's so perfect like it's yeah. it's incredible and you know like what i love about his music is the fact that he can make it a musical so when he performs it i can only imagine he will perform it the same way he's performing it on these videos you know what i mean which is yeah. amazing this is a show you have to pay for bro like you have to watch this this is like shakespeare in his own time you know what i mean like in this time you know like it's crazy like he's you, a one-man show on broadway bro like you go to watch his concert it's a one-man show on broadway yeah. yo, and he's bringing all the characters to life yo and he's like yeah. He's bringing the emotions and every I can feel everything. I can see it. You know what I mean? It's like a movie every single time. It's really a joy to watch, yo, honestly. Because it's, it's like you never know what you're getting to. It's like, you know what I mean? Like he's yeah. coming with all types of different like tricks on you. Like, like just before you think something like the story is going this way, you see the plot twist and mm -hmm. oh man, just everything just this it's crazy. Yo. It's crazy. Remember that exact spot that you're having right now? Right there. Now remember that after you watch this third part, because everything you just said right now is literally you. Go, it goes exactly with what we're about to watch. Oh, this third part. Let's go. Like <laughs> when you think that it's going, when the story's going one way, and then yeah. you're like, and then he's like, ah, just kidding, it's over here. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's exactly what's about to happen to you guys right now. Because <laughs> I, I remember, because I remember the first time I, I watched this series, and I was like, okay, I kind of, I kind of have an idea. Like every time I watched the, when I watched the first part, I was like, okay. That's crazy. That's sad about Jenny's story. And then at the second part, when it had like screeches, I was like, oh, okay, it's about to be his like, you know, story. And they were, I thought he was going to go into his background and like, how did he get there? But then they were like, no, it just continued on that story. Then he ends up dying. Then I'm like, well, what the heck? <laughs> like, they kind of they give you a background of him a little bit. They were young. Yeah, I mean, but but like, when, I, when I was thinking like a story, like, because I, I knew that it was three parts to this, okay. I was thinking like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, beforehand. Okay. I was that, thinking like before I watched it was like okay Jenny like they told Jenny's story how she got into that alleyway right a little bit more they did a little bit on his but not like a lot right they didn't talk so much about him it was just like how you know like he went down a bad road right but they didn't really get into his story so I thought the second part was gonna be more that 
because it even comes in like full circle when he was talking about uh, Jenny, how she was trying to get home and go to sleep. And at the end, he's like, well, she finally found sleep. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's found somewhere to sleep. That shit was cold. That was a cold mm -hmm. line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was a cold right. line. Yeah. Because like, he literally went back. That's how the beginning of it started. Yeah. It was like he's walking down the street to go home to go to sleep. And then she, yeah. Yeah. She found sleep. She found with sleep. With death. That's a cold line, bro. Yeah. Yeah. He, and he has, a, he has a lot of those, man. Like, it's like how he ties it together. It, yeah. It's crazy. Yo, yeah, I'm saying third part, uh, Man, I'm excited, bro. You guys, you, let's, yeah, let's get into the third part. So you guys, just, just remember this mindset you guys are in right now. When you, when you watch it, because it's about to mess you guys up. Was you saying something, no, Drake, or no? No, I'll, I'll say it after this. Right. I will, I'll remember, because I've been thinking about this the whole time. I've been listening to this guy. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive Rhythmic beeps and bloodstains, she's our lady weep, she's tired and frail To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale Silent girl grew up with violent starts Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard Every night he took a tie but never left the room I'll spare you of the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was a wrong and but he sure knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie but never left the room History repeats itself, he'd paint her black and blue and dark She never stood a chance The devil comes to dine Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. 
hit like hailstones One to the collarbone, full force, full blown Blood black bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack One to the jaw and the tooth spat Detach, fist connects and disconnects a bone A quick deflect to misdirect the blow But nonetheless his punches met her throat Such a mess he's left her bruised and broke Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor Violet broke her silence And she cried If I'm to die right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed The lights went dim In London City Far from pretty 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Oh shit, yo, get the fuck out of here <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, yo yeah. There's, They were brothers and sisters? Yeah, they were twins. Oh shit! They didn't even know. Dang, that's insane, right? That's some like imp immortal technique, dance with the devil kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yep. <laughs> it really is, yo. That's yo. That's what's crazy about it. Like, oh my god, yo, right? On the same level too. Like that, the plot twist is crazy, man. Yeah, the plot right? twist on Dance with the Devil is crazy too. Oh. Damn, that's. crazy. Crazy. I know, but like the. Because I'm like, who's violent? Why are we he talking about violent for? But now, yeah. Yeah, violent was their yeah. mom, right? And so it's telling the story See, all the way back when they were, were were born. I was under the impression that uh violent was like Jenny's mom. Like she is. Not, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like I didn't know both of them. Like that. That's that's the that's the twist, twist, twist. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. All right. Right. The storytelling, man, though. I mean, the guitar playing. Yeah, I mean, all through it, like the changes, like even the dramatic moments where he captures you up close. His entire performance is just like, man, like, I don't like, I don't know. I don't know if, if he's not the greatest. I don't know who he is, yo. You know what I mean? Like. Who could it be? Did you just witness that? You're like, it's crazy, bro. Like, yo, this dude is just like a storytelling, like, like legend, y'all. Like, you know what I mean? And he performs yeah. it so well. His delivery is just like flawless. His guitar playing, it's like he sleeps with that guitar, wakes up in the morning, has breakfast with that guitar, goes through the day <laughs> with that guitar, has lunch yeah, with that friends, guitar, yeah. goes to sleep. Yeah. It's right next to him all day, every day. Like he, he's like a living musical. That's what he seems like to me, you know, from watching him play. You know what I mean? I can imagine this dude, like he, he lives with that guitar, yo. That's, that's his like, you know, third arm basically. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He needs, he needs to be writing movies though too, right? This guy that's, needs to be writing some scripts. That's what I was going to say, yo. This dude, he'll probably be my favorite writer and director if he, if he, cause man, this yeah. dude. Right? It's incredible. That story was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that was a crazy yeah. story. And um, yeah, that's all I was, I was that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna save it towards the end when you guys ask him, like, man, because this guy can be like a writer. This guy, his next the next person he should work with, like if he ever plans to work with so he needs to work with like Guy Ritchie or something and make a crazy right. movie, yo. But with, with his ideals, with everything his vision that like Guy Ritchie directed, help him out. Cause this guy, man, he can just do more than music. Cause man, movies yeah. and 
Those are. Oh, he should do movies. the movie and then do the score for the movie too, right? Do yeah, the soundtrack exactly. for the movie. <laughs> yeah. he, like, he can do it all. He's gonna. Yeah. He'll write the movie. He'll produce the movie. He'll score in the movie. He can even act in the movie. Let's throw him yeah. in the movie too. <laughs> yeah. You know what it kind of remind me of? Not well, obviously that that movie's a comedy, but um, kind of remind me of something about Mary. You know how they're like. Oh yeah, they they'll just step like, in. They'll yeah. sing the song. Like that's how I felt. Like he was doing in some parts. He was just he just comes out of nowhere. Like narrating, like, right? Yeah, narrating. narrating. Like yeah, that yeah. would be fire if he did that with a movie. Yo. That would be oh, sick, yeah. yo. And he plays like plays whatever character he writes. Like because he's he's very photogenic and he, he looks yeah. good on camera, yo. And he looks like he would be great uh in a movie yo so man i would love to see that like we need to get him doing that yeah that's what i'm yeah. saying like his performance has got to be on like broadway or something like a place like that because it's it's not like the regular music you hear out there you know like the story is so vivid and he could play the whole like all the characters yeah. with just his guitar bro he doesn't even need anybody else or nothing you know what i mean yeah. he can literally like go like do this three section right here with three different rooms on stage you know what i mean mm. he could murder it bro murder it i wonder uh, does he do these like songs like you know the one two three parts does he do them, do them like i yeah uh, hmm, i don't know i don't know if i've seen a, a live version of him doing it like that I, that'd be dope to see yeah i haven't like really seen him perform but like y'all bad if he uh, this dude is such a beast i would love to see him on stage dude yeah absolutely and they keep talking this one take thing you know what i mean like where he like does these videos in one take is he well, you can see that he practices a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised. He no, probably already knows it so well before he does these videos. Yeah. Because look at the budget. I mean, I'm sure that I'm sure when he's doing these things, because this a lot of this is like before he got really like, you know, kind of popping like where he is now, right? So like th these three parts were a while ago. So I can only imagine what his budget was back then. Now imagine if we gave this guy all the money in the world and gave him creative control and be like, hey, you can do whatever you want. Like, imagine what, what he would come up with. I mean, he's doing this with nothing already. Everything, yeah. That's Everything. what I'm saying. Like, this, yeah, give this guy a budget, bro. <laughs> like, give him give him a no limit and see what this guy can create. It's going to be insane. Nah, he's, he's been stuck to that guitar pretty much like every video we have watched except for the uh, money game because he was The first one, he's playing guitar, though. That's Remember, that's him. That's him in the mask. It is? When he was walking, remember, when he stopped it, like he couldn't have stopped it. He's not Houdini too, bro. Like I know he's super nice, but he ain't Houdini, bro. Like I don't know. I, that part I didn't get because at the remember at the third one that he. he I don't say nothing. I have, I have ah, I have only seen the first one, fuckers. Okay. Oh, we, we, <laughs> bro, we ain't tell you much, bro. You I know was, this fool got like a whole the, bag in there, bro. Like yo, there's yeah. a whole. Bunch I of only seen in the there. first one. Uh, you guys did. I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually. I just been busy. I've been trying to watch some of his videos, but I haven't got to the the second or the third part. Yeah, it's really nice. It's yeah, really the nice. third part, he he doesn't even just play the guitar. He he's playing the piano. Good old piano. Yeah. Nice, yo. Yo, this dude is just like a musical like man i don't even know Music i'm telling you he'll be man. a beast in movies yo i'm telling you his storytelling is just just think about it, yo look how visual he is yeah, with no visuals yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying just doing a song yeah yeah man you know, like i said i get like quinzen teal guy richie vibes from him like i I could definitely I'm saying like movie. like the craziest part is that he does such a great job, right? No drink, but like him doing this in one take is even crazier, yo. Pretty sure all this is like dubbed, like most music videos are. Like the music is already playing in the background when they're doing the video. Like if you ever seen how a music video is done, it's, they're not no 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 no, no, no. yeah yeah or... yeah like 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 the actual song will come on. You know what I mean? Obviously, with the final editing of the yeah. music video, it would only make sense, you know. But what I'm saying is he still performs in it bro like his song is not like any other like let's say a rapper for example right he's gonna have the hook three times he's gonna have like two verses so he can just go in front of the camera do his little thingy he can be on the block whatever he does you know what i mean but him he's giving you a whole play bro he's like he's every single character with his guitar bro like he's out there playing like he has to actually act you know what i mean to be I think this is live though, because this doesn't sound like the studio version, like when you see regular music videos. Because you can notice the difference in the audio when he's going in from different rooms. Like when he was in starting off That's in that true. room and he started moving into the hallway and stuff like that, the audio changed. I think he's actually doing this. Like I think the mics and stuff are all set up with him, and they they have it set around him. So when he's walking around, he's probably got stuff set up around him that we can't see. 
but I think he's actually doing this live. I think this is all because the audio sounds live. Like even when he's playing the guitar, it's perfectly in sync. Like there's no way that you could do that with a dub. Like with a rapper, you can. You can just lip sync your your lyrics. But with a guitar, that's really hard to be able to do the exact. Because there could be a time where he could be a little off, and you can. Notice. I don't. Man, I don't know, man. That's kind of hard because that that man. microphone has to be right near him at all times, and you can't. You can. Well, you they they have those microphones like when too. they do like movies. You know what I mean? No, that's like, what I'm saying. What, but he's moving as he's like. You can you you can hear something like I'm, this has to be there's like I'm pretty sure he's playing the guitar still but I'm I'm pretty sure this is like this is ready pre recorded there's no way he can do that without like like you said I think, with, I think with, he with did. this kind of I budget bro like you gotta have well, a sound think, man I think there's some editing everywhere. too though you know you gotta remember they, they probably edited some of that stuff out too you probably he probably did have stuff in there like that you were talking about you could probably hear but they, when they edited it they probably took a lot of that stuff out you could take stuff out like that like background noise and stuff it's really 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 tough to tell just because of like the way he performs it yeah because yeah. all of his stops way, we're gonna have to talk to him so yeah well, like, it doesn't matter I, anyways he's a beast <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. doesn't matter still his music who cares yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and him doing it, that he He's doing yeah. it. Yeah. I love his uniqueness. He's like different than anybody else that we have ever heard. Actually, on my catalog. Oh, one hundred percent. You know what I mean? He's, he's, listen, uh, he's top of my list. I've been obviously one of my friends already know him because he's from the UK too. Uh, he's from London. So I was like, you heard about Red? He's like, yeah. You ever heard of him? I'm like, I just just told me about him uh, on the on the YouTube channel. So that's how I found out about him. But he's a beast. He's like, yeah. he's like, he's like, get ready, man. He he got some dark shit too. I'm like. That's my type of shit right there. I like dark yeah. shit. And this yeah. is pretty dark. <laughs> this yeah. is pretty dark. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's that immortal technique story, man. I'm telling you, like it that's exactly it really the kind is. of vibes yeah. I got at the end of it, you know? Yeah. It's amazing to be able to write something like this, but like perform it and play the mm -hmm. guitar and like all of his stops. Like it's just like he's just so next level on everything, bro. <laughs> like there's nothing that yeah. he's not next level on, you know what I mean? It's, it's phenomenal. Y'all, I'm so glad we found him. You know what I mean? Like you can tell he got so many more surprises to come, bro. Yeah. Like mind blowing surprises. So I can't wait. Thank you for joining us on my catalog. We just got done listening to Ren, the tale of Jenny and Scree it was absolutely mind-blowing it was different it was unique it was unorthodox it was just ren you know and ren is like the greatest so it is what it is you know don't forget to like share comment all that good stuff until next time peace, peace. when you're down when you're down and trouble